Well, more than 100,000 people have lined up to say goodbye to Pope Benedict XVI. Today is the last day his body will be lying in state before tomorrow's funeral mass. CBS News' Tina Krause is outside St. Peter's Basilica, where people are paying their final respects. Tina, good morning. Hey, Chris and Mary, good morning. People know this is their last chance, and that is why the crowds just keep coming here to the Vatican, and it's a beautiful day for it. People are lining up. This is the longest I've seen the line so far. Once inside the Basilica, people are seeing Pope Benedict's body, and some are stopping to pray. Others are making the sign of the cross, and some are even taking photos. They want to capture this historic moment for the Catholic Church. Tens of thousands of mourners from all over the world have flocked to St. Peter's Basilica, where former Pope Benedict XVI now lies in state for a final day. A big loss for the church, but then he will continue to support us from heaven. Among those who traveled to the Vatican, the Archbishop of New York, Timothy Dolan, who described the former Pope as an honorable, radiant man. I deeply appreciated the leadership he was given to the church. I have to say there was a deep admiration for what he did, and as the years went on, that admiration sort of grew. A mass was held to honor Benedict in his home country of Germany, where he was formerly known as Joseph Ratzinger. Here in St. Peter's Square, the stage is being set for tomorrow's funeral. The Vatican says it will be similar to that of a reigning pope. The mass will be historic, with Pope Francis as the first pontiff in modern history to preside over the funeral of his predecessor. Francis has led the Catholic Church since his election in 2013, following Benedict's surprise resignation. One of the final vestments Benedict wore before stepping down is on display in a gallery window near the Basilica. Pope Benedict wanted a simple affair, and that's what he will get tomorrow. Amid all the grandeur here at the Vatican, there are just two official delegations coming in for the funeral from here in Italy and Pope Benedict's native Germany. The White House confirms U.S. Ambassador to the Vatican, Joe Donnelly, will also be here in Rome. Chris and Mary. Tina Kraus. Tina, thank you. And you just heard there from New York's Timothy Cardinal Dolan coming up at 7 o'clock. He'll be joining us live on our streaming channel, CBS News New York. You can watch on CBS News app and on Pluto TV.